Germany, woman convicted of offending migrant gang rapist receives longer prison sentence than the rapist. A fucking... Oh, we need a flood. Everybody's talking about the Great Reset. We need a completely different kind of Great Reset. I do believe we should have a Great Reset. Just a very, very different one. But, I mean, how dare, how dare this woman affect, you know, offend gang rapists? Those, you know... If, if there's anything, if, if they're a very, you know, what, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Because I don't do all the wokeism shit, I don't know the word. They're a very disenfranchised and oppressed group. The poor gang rapists. I mean, technically in certain situations they're the majority, but you know what I mean. Right? Poor people. You shouldn't offend them. Uh, a 20-year-old woman in Hamburg, Germany, has been sent to prison after making hateful remarks to towards a migrant who was involved in the gang rape of a child. The woman is just one of 140 people being investigated for making harmful comments towards the rapist. <laughs> harmful comments towards the rapists. Wow, there's... You know, imagine, imagine wanting to create a world where you're not allowed to say mean things about child rapists. Jesus Christ. The horrific assault took place in 2020 and involved multiple groups of migrant men independently attacking a 14-year-old girl in Hamburg's Stad Park over the course of one night. The park had become a popular hangout spot for the youth during the COVID-19 lockdowns and the girl had been there drinking with her friends. But they became scattered after police swept the park and broke up groups while enforcing social distancing measures. Uh, confused and alone, the girl was defenceless against the mob of four predators. <clears throat> the men... <sighs> do, you need, do you need to go into this much detail? Right. The men to la 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 it's just uh, robbed her of her wallet and cell phone before leaving her. Uh, traumatised and disoriented from the first attack and having no method of calling for help, the girl was assaulted a second time by two more men who took advantage of her vulnerable state. Disturbingly, her assailants had begun invite. Glee... <laughs> Let's just skip that. Gleefully sharing the news that there was an isolated teenage girl in the park, in, a, in the dark park with no potential witnesses. The child was attacked by three more men who fucked... Anyway, finally, the child managed to break away and ran, uh, though pursued by her rapist. Eventually, she came across people who recognised her traumatised state and immediately called the police. A total of 11 men were initially charged, but two were acquitted quickly due to the lack of DNA evidence. The sperm of the nine men, however, had been successfully recovered from the girl. But this is... This... Uh... This, I hate this. This is fucking grim reading. Uh, five of the men who were in possession of German passports, while the remainder were not citizens of Germany, among those charged, none were of German heritage. The rapists were identified as a Pole, an Egyptian, a Libyan, a Kuwaiti, an Iranian, an Armenian, an, bleh, an, Armenian, an Afghan, a Syrian, and a Montenegrin. You know, the fucking... Avengers of the people who cause problems. Uh, the men had a team of 20 defence attorneys arguing their innocence. Who paid for those? Well, the taxpayer, probably. In fact, the taxpayer probably did. Uh, videos of the first and third rapes had been recorded and shared... <laughs> And shared by the assailants to contacts through WhatsApp, but the videos were deleted before the case could be heard in court. Witnesses who did see the footage before its deletion did testify that it depicted clear sexual assault, with one noting that the girl had been holding her hands over her head in a... Fuck this article, right... Uh, during the trial, the victim who now suffers from PTSD, because fucking of course she does as a result of the night of abuse, was called upon to speak about what happened to her. While she recounted the horrific ordeal, the men showed no signs of remorse, and at least one is said to have almost fallen asleep during proceedings. Fucking Christ. Well, well done to her, by the way, for being able to go up into the court and do that. That must have been... That must have been extremely fucking difficult. So well done. Like, brave, brave wee lassie going up there and giving evidence. However, despite DNA and WhatsApp evidence, eight of the nine men convicted walked free with probation and spent no time. I fucking hate the world. Holy fucking shit. The ninth was sentenced to two years and nine months in prison without two years and nine months for raping a 14-year-old girl. Ga sorry, gang raping a 14-year-old girl. Jesus Christ. The case caused outrage in Germany because fucking of course it did, both for the brutality of the rape itself and the lenient sentences given to the rapists. As a result, one of the men had a... Blah, blah. 
had his identity and phone number circulated on Snapchat by furious sleuths. Angered by the news of the case, a 20-year-old woman from Hamburg messaged the number through WhatsApp. The unnamed woman called him a dishonourable racist rapist pig and a disgusting miscarriage. She added, aren't you ashamed when you, looked in, when you look in the mirror? Uh, the targeted rapist then reported the woman to the police and she was charged with sending him insulting messages because I forgot that insulting people was a crime in Germany. The reason I know that is because it's what Dragon Lord got in trouble for because he did it to police officers. Uh, the woman has now been convicted and sentenced to a weekend in prison for her remarks, meaning that she will spend more time in jail than eight of the nine rapists. In court, the woman apologised for her remarks, saying she acted out of a reflex upon hearing the sickening details of the case. Now, I understand why she's worried about it. She's obviously terrified. And basically, when you go into the court... <clears throat> The, be the best thing really you can do is get on your knees and say yes or no sir, three bags full sir, and hope they show you leniency, but they probably won't because it's the courts and you were a very, very naughty racist and you were mean to the very, 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 very nice migrant gang rapist. Uh, so yeah, uh, but... Obviously, they decided to throw the book at her anyway. But according to Hamburger Abendblatt, eh, the woman is not the only person who could be facing a conviction for insulting the rapist. Authorities in Hamburg are reportedly investigating 140 people for offences related to ins blah, related to issuing insult, threats, or other detriment towards the Stad Park predators. So basically, in Germany, you're not allowed to be mean to child rapists. You're not allowed to be mean to them. Now, this is the one thing that I always say when it comes to, like, freedom of speech and basically how do we make society better? A lot of people want to do it through laws, which is their, which is there for the state deciding, and I don't think it's good thinking what the state's doing right now. You think they want society to be better? No, they absolutely fucking do not, right? They are, in fact, destroying society. They're trying to break it down the way society has been for many, many thousands of years. They're trying to destroy it, right? So we should not definitely leave it up to the state to decide the way society should be. I think it should be very, very localised and done via very, very strong social codes. Right, if you don't obey by the social codes of a particular group, then they kick you out of the group. Like, for example, if you've got a group of friends and you're in there acting like an arsehole and that group of friends doesn't want to associate with you anymore, well, then that's fine. You can either go be an arsehole somewhere else where that's allowed or you can adjust your behaviour so that you then fit in with the group. Right, I feel that that is the most sensible way to do things, and I think a very, very important way to maintain a very, very strict social code is to have no tolerance of child rapists whatsoever. Right, you're allowed to call them pieces of shit because they are. Sorry, child, child gang rapists. Very, very important distinction. Right, you should be able to call them pieces of shit. You know, subhuman scum. They are totally excluded from any, every part of social cohesion. I think you should be allowed to do that. However, it's illegal to insult them or be mean to them. Which is a complete fucking joke. No, you have to hang out with them. You have to hang out with the child gang rapists, right? Germany is becoming an absolute fucking joke of a country, right? And uh, considering like the last time this happened uh, and what happened <laughs> afterwards, I'm getting I'm getting a little bit nervous. <laughs>